Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, part one, we did a test utilizing the uh, 5G AT&T uh, network uh, cellular uh, SIM card within the uh, PepWave Pro 5G. Um, and if you've watched that video, we had some issues with being throttled because we had already surpassed AT&T's threshold and we had received some messages about um, being throttled and so we did some speed test on that and um, we're going to do some speed tests utilizing T-Mobile's uh, SIM card which has already been put into uh, the PEP wave so um, I know that's not a one for one because this is a brand new plan under the T-Mobile network however we just still want to do some speed tests do a comparison and then we're going to do a follow-up third video where we're going to um, implement that change that I talked about in um, the first video. So if you haven't watched that one, I'll put a link down in the description and um, go ahead and take a look once you get a chance and then you'll understand what change we're gonna do for the third video and we're gonna come back and do testing on uh, the new AT&T uh, network that we have set up uh, under that um, different scenario. So now, um, here, as you can see, um, we're connected to T-Mobile's uh, 5G network on the PEP wave. I can't go into details because you'll see more information there about the router. I'm not worried about you seeing the IP address and all that stuff will change later on. So um, over here, just went to Google and typed in speed test. And we're going to run a quick speed test. So right now we're testing download speeds, which came up to 197. Let's see what upload speeds look like. Upload speeds look like it's dragging for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna use a different website, speedtest.net, and we're gonna test the upload and download over there, see what speeds we get. Usually that upload was a little bit higher earlier when we did a test. So over here we look like we're hitting 124.82. And while that upload test, let's go back over here. Okay, so over here we hit 197. So varying, the numbers are varying a little bit. And though remember, um, the end location where it's actually pinging is probably much different between Google and speedtest.net. Okay, so over here, we're utilizing Windstream over in Ashburn, Virginia. Um, upload over there is very slow, down to 0 0.54. So, I'm gonna make a change real quick. And I'm making a change on the uh, on the router. Um, can't show you that change right now because you see too many details. I'm gonna tell you what change I make in the next in another video. Um, so right now it's going through. Um, after you make a change, it goes through and says connecting. It's looking for that cellular connection. Anytime you make any configuration changes to the PEP way while it's on the cellular network, it, it'll go back and it'll disconnect and, and start looking for the signal again. So it's checking connectivity now, so it should come right up. I'm trying to speed that those upload numbers up a little bit because we received 0 0.54. So when I did this test earlier, it was higher than that. It was like, I don't know, 15, 15 megabits per second. Okay, so now it's connected to T-Mobile 5G. Now we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna do another test. I'll tell you what those that test 
the change was here in a second if the numbers are actually going to be better and the numbers are very much better okay so download was 236 upload was 47.6 that's 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 what we were kind of seeing earlier and we're going to change this to Washington DC and go as we can tell it's pretty fast and again um, no major changes we ordered a, a sim card from uh, T-Mobile um, no other devices are on that plan just the line for the hotspot we did a bring your own device we've got the brand new pep wave 5g pro router with the one sim card in it and so now we're testing upload speeds the download was 235 upload is 47 so i'll tell you what i did um now out of the box um meaning take the sim card pop it in load it up with the pep wave it was pretty fast however i am noticing like you saw on there it's slow at times with the default configurations so i actually changed the uh, dns on the pep wave to communicate to uh, utilize google dns servers so that's one uh, the actual configuration change that you can do on these these routers where you can customize it you can change the dns so i'm not sure out of the box what dns uh t-mobile is utilizing out there what public dns but i changed it to utilize google's uh, dns which is ip address 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. that was it and i saved it and as you can see the configuration was much faster and um, we're still going to have a follow-up video to do some testing on uh, the new AT&T SIM card that we have. And um, we're going to come back and test those speeds against what we just saw here on the T-Mobile network. So stand by. Thanks for watching.